Hi, welcome back to Ollie's Workshop. Um, tonight, I'll just do a quick one. Um, I've got a little job for, to do for work. Um, I need to make a little adapter for a board to, uh, circuit board to, so I can test it. Um, and I'm just going to see if I can use the, the CNC 3018 to do a bit of marking out on a piece of aluminium. So I squared it up in the lay, um, in the mill, um, double sided taped it down uh, to the backing board there. Um, and um, I'm just going to have a go, show you how I generate the G code, uh, which I'm going to use. But essentially, I'm going to use the the V cutter there to spot the centers of the the holes that I want, um, and then just engrave the uh, outline of what I need to mill out, which I'll do on the full size mill. Um, ideally, I'd like to make this be able to do jobs like this, albeit slowly. Um, it's not. It's not really up to the job at the moment. Um, that's a project for another day. But for today, um, uh, we're going to take a look at this. So uh, over to the computer. Before we go to the computer, this is the uh, the circuit board in question. Um, there's my finger for comparison. It's uh, fairly small. So I need something to mount it on so I can hold it. And um, it's uh, essentially got to hold this, this LED board in position against it and you can see the uh, the gold area is, is where this piece of metal has to go so I'm going to be marking out four holes and uh, and that sort of U shape uh, and then uh, uh, munching out that material so I'll just show you how I've how I generate in the uh, the pattern I'm going to use so this is a software package called Eagle um, I've isolated the the area that I want to um, chop out uh, and the the four holes that I want to drill I'm just going to be spotting the the whole centers with the with the V bit and uh, is doing an isolation route to uh, to denote the the outline that I need to mill to so I will now go to flat cam which is the cam software that I use for doing uh, PCB milling I've imported the um, the outline as the Gerber file and the drills as the Exelon file. Um, I've set my cut Z, which is the drill depth, to 0.2 millimeters because I just re literally want to peck the surface. Um, and um, yeah, the, the tool size is kind of irrelevant. The machine doesn't know what you're putting in it, so I'm just putting in the V bit and pecking down 0.2 below the surface. Um, and then spat out that G code. The uh, the outline, same again. I'm effectively just telling it that I'm doing an isolation routing toolpath with a 0.2 mil cutter. Um, I've generated the geometry, uh, which you then just tell it how again how deep you want to cut. I'm going down 0.15 in this instance. Um, and generated the g-code so that's very straightforward um, way to uh, to spit this data out um, now we need to load up candle and we can import importing the drill file which looks like that so that's we'll start with that um, and now we need to position the uh, cutter and basically the bottom left corner Right, getting close. Fortunately, with this, it's sort of I have to do it by eye. I would call that roughly zero. Uh, I've just zeroed the machine. Um, now I need to Z probe to get my Z zero. Just.
that's Z0. Zero. So zero Z there. And then go up. Go on. Right, that's uh, four holes. Right, there's the Gerber imported. And... Right, and uh, that's that marked out, ready for me to mill um, on the big mill. So I think that's uh, that's quite a good way of doing a bit of marking out. Thanks for watching.